Okay, so today's what we're going to do is activate a Droid Razor. Uh, this is the Max onto Page Plus. I'm going to show you the steps that we go through to uh, to activate this onto uh, Page Plus. So you can see right there it says a SIM card is needed to operate this phone. So this is the phone we're going to activate. Uh, one step that we've already taken is uh, we've already called into Page Plus and have already uh, activated this phone onto onto the account. We've already called in and had them to put the ESN from this phone onto the account. Now it doesn't work yet, but that's going to be your first step. Okay, so one thing you're going to have to get is this. You go to a local uh, Verizon store. That's where where we got this. Uh, just go up there and tell them that you want. Um, a 4G SIM card and I believe it was right at $10 uh, I think you can buy these on eBay for cheaper than that so if you want to do that that's fine uh, but if if you want to do this pretty quick you can just run down to your local Verizon store and, and ask them to buy one of these SIM cards they may ask you what you're using it for and they may try to get you to activate it or whatever just tell them no you you'll you'll take care of it uh, so this is gonna be something that you need to get this working when you call into Page Plus, you'll also need to ask them for your MDN number and your MIN number. These uh, numbers will be used later in the process, but make sure you get those two because you will need them. Okay, one other thing I forgot to say about when you're activating this, there's several ways you can activate this. Uh, you can call into Page Plus, and uh, if you call into Page Plus, you can have them uh, put the SN number onto the account. They'll do that for free. Um, if you're on their website, over on the right-hand side, there's a thing that says chat. You can do you can do that through the chat also, which is usually the quickest way to do it. And uh, that way is free. Uh, there's there's dealers on eBay that you can use, but if you do it through those dealers, it's going to cost you some money. Some some a dollar, some even way more than that. So there's several ways that you can uh, that you can activate that onto your account. Okay, one other thing I want to say is uh, all this uh, knowledge is brought. We we know how to do all this because of Snoop, uh, Snoop 1979. This is uh, his username here on Howard Forum. I'll have a link in the description uh, to this thread because of everything we're doing here is just using the using the tools and the knowledge he's provided in in this thread. Okay, I don't, I don't know if you can see it in here or not, but he says four or five times here make sure that your battery is 100 percent before doing this okay so, so what I want to do now is I want to show you uh, this thread and we're just going to talk about the the basic things you're going to have to download uh, to be able to get rolling on this so the first thing is is we have this droid razor utility and that's one thing you're going to have to have to uh, to go in there and wipe your your uh, your phone and this is one thing that we use to one important tool that we use and then we also will need the latest uh, um, update uh, for your card or for your phone and this is another link you'll have to follow and get that and then you'll also need the CDMA workshop and there's a free version that works for most of it and there's uh, one other one that's not listed right here that he mentions further down in this thread and it is a DFS um, and there'll be a, a link for that also but you'll have to uh, download that also because um, that CDMA workshop is how you actually activate your phone and the DFS kind of finishes off some of the stuff that the CDMA workshop doesn't do okay so We've connected the phone up to the computer now. You can see it's set to mass storage. And it's what we're going to do now. Okay, it's bringing up the autoplay here. So we're going to open that up. Okay, so it's what we're going to do now is we're taking that update. That was the second link that he showed to you there that said update. And that's this one right here, blur version. Uh, 6.16.211 uh, 6 we're going to take that update and you're going to put it onto your SD card of your phone now leave it zipped 
don't unzip it. There's going to be a bunch of files in that zip, but you want to leave it as the zip because your phone uh, in the recovery is going to take that and it's going to flash all the different things in that zip. So leave it as a zip and put that zip onto your, onto your SD card. Okay, now we need to put it in AP fast mode and doing this you have to turn off your phone. Now that it's off, you want to hold your power and volume up and down all three at the same time. And then you want to scroll down to you use the volume down to AP fast boot and then you hit the power up or the volume up button hit the volume up button and it selects and now at this time we connect it back to the computer and now once it's connected we wait for the computer to recognize it So now what you have wanted, wanted to have done before is after you download your Droid Razor utility is you want to make sure you unzip it first before we go through this process. But once you have it unzipped, you'll open up the file, the folder, and open that one up. So now um, you want to click on this Droid Razor utility right here. It's kind of hard to find the right one, but you see that one there. You'll double click on it, and then it'll come up with this, and it'll look just like the link that was under Howard Forum. Okay, one thing I want to say about this point, just to clarify, you want to make sure that all of these steps are done just right because at this point you can brick your phone. So you want to follow all these steps very precisely. Don't walk away. Yes, it takes a little while. You're going to have to sit here and babysit it, but just stay here and watch it because we want to make sure we get all these steps just right as we're going through here. You also want to make sure that your phone does not become unplugged at all. That will wreck this throughout this por portion of this uh, of this deal. It will break your phone, so be very careful. Make sure your kids are locked in their room not literally but make sure that they are not in the way and they can cause any problems um, make sure it, you're not doing this during storm where your phone your computer can turn off um, if you have a battery backup that's the best deal um, you don't want to ruin your phone at this point so um, make sure all um, conditions are optimal for doing this and it says to hit any key to continue you want to go ahead and just hit it any key and then it's going to ask it's asked you to make a selection and you're going to want to choose number one option one which is fast boot restore so you hit number one and then you hit enter and then it asks you to hit any key again now this is going to wipe your phone It says to hit any key again. You go ahead and hit any key. Now your phone turned off and it came back on. We didn't show that, but it blinked off and then it came back on. And so once it comes back on, it says to press any key again. And it does this a few times, so just you ha this you have to stick with it. It's not something you can just walk away and and do do something else. You have to stick with this. Okay, so now it says it's done, and it says press any key to continue. And this warns you it's going to wipe your phone's data. 
So you should have it all backed up. So we hit any key and now it's starting to erase. Okay, so now it's done and we're gonna hit enter and it'll take us back to the, the main screen that we're at the very beginning of this. And so now at this point, we are just gonna turn off our phone And then we're going to turn it right back on. And so this is going to go through the whole launch process on this. This is just a normal boot. We're not doing the fast boot. We're not booting into AP fast boot. Just a normal boot here. Okay, so we are done with this Droid Razor utility. You can go ahead and close it out. We no longer need it. So now your phone is rebooted and it has updated and everything so you'll be at this screen it takes a little while for all, the, all that to go through but finally you're at this screen now that you get here what we're going to do is we're going to drag the notification bar down and we're going to go to settings and we're going to turn on airplane mode now one thing is you need to make sure your sim card is installed it's um, at this point it's a good place to put it in before you um, do all this you can put it in uh, before you do this I did mine whenever I before I started so either place but it has to be done before any of the rest of this goes on so now you're in airplane mode and you'll hit the back button and it'll take you back to this screen now it's called the four corner bypass sometimes it takes a little bit of getting used to but you're gonna you're gonna t start up here on the top left hand corner you're gonna Sorry about that. It took a little bit to get the right spots, but um, if you look at that last part, just slow it down, you'll see that you're touching the four corners right around that top part. You don't want to go below that little uh, disclaimer at the bottom where it uh, explains that. So now you want to wait for it to go through this. You do want to turn it to the side for that uh, four corner to work. okay so now you've gotten past the activation screen so what you're wanting to do now is you're wanting to go ahead and set up your phone just uh, like you got a brand new phone you want to get all your your Wi-Fi passwords and all that stuff put in there and just go ahead and get uh, go through this entire process to get your phone back to the home screen like it would be normally so you just want to go through all these processes um, if you don't have Wi-Fi then you can skip that it's okay um, and one thing is what I just forgot to do is you want to go ahead and go back into the settings and turn airplane mode back off and then that'll turn your Wi-Fi you can turn it back on if it wasn't on and so now it brings up my um, Wi-Fi settings and I want to go ahead and enter these in now okay I've gotten my password for my Wi-Fi in there and now it's communicating with the server. You can go ahead and start your setup. Okay, so it's going through this setup deal and a lot of this is the Verizon junk that's on there and it's gonna try to do that. You can just cancel that stuff and not worry about that. This is where you can go ahead and set up your email. You don't have to do this right now. You can always um, uh, skip part of this uh, just go through all this next there's some more Verizon junk you can uh, um, not now and we're done with all that so now we're at our home screen and of course it has all this helpful stuff on there And so now we're back to our to our home screen. Now that this we're done with this part of it, we have all this ready. Um, now we are um, going to start the process of activating our phone. We still have to uh, run a, another update first. So at this point, 
Um, if you're on that Howard forums, it has a section 